Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring Aeonium Sun Cup and itong succulent na to is one of those succulents that has small rosette. So what we are seeing right now is yung talagang pinaka size lang ng kanyang pinaka rosettes and usually yung kanyang leaves would start to be color white or yellowish in color sa pinaka center ng kanyang rosette and usually it will turn parang darker in color sa edges which is the color green that we are seeing but sometimes talagang completely yellow lang siya like what we are seeing right now so that's really one of my favorite dito sa ating Aeonium Sun Cup I really love the combination of that light yellow and yung green na color. Itong succulent na to pala can grow to a height of 3 to 6 inches and probably kung lalaki man itong ating Aeonium Sun Cup it won't really be that big. As I've mentioned earlier, it's one of those succulents na maliliit lang talaga siya and won't really grow bigger. In terms of its sunlight requirements, itong ating Aeonium Sun Cup grows best in a bright location and with lots of direct sunlight. So in my case, I don't really have any problem with that one kasi nandito nga sila sa ating rooftop and so all day long talaga we are receiving enough light and the problem kasi if insufficient nga yung ating light conditions yung kanyang leaves would grow deformed hindi maganda yung pagform ng kanyang leaves it could also ethylate and eventually die so this is where i usually put yung aking ionium it's just on our succulent table along with our other succulents and what i really like is that para siyang nagluglow under bright light and talaga namang mag stand out siya among the other succulents because of its vibrant yellowish color so in terms of its watering requirements, we have to water itong succulent na ito moderately kasi ayun naman natin na ma-overwater yung ating Aeonium. Pero isa rin ito sa mga succulents na talagang I have to water it more often as compared to the other succulents. And sometimes nga I do bottom watering if I wanted to water itong Aeonium Sun Cup natin primarily because ang bilis niyang ma-dehydrate. So if yung iba natin mga succulents, they can tolerate not being watered for three weeks or one month itong ating sun cup i have to water it about once a week or every two weeks so we can also water it directly dito nga sa kanyang pinaka top soil and let it drain but for today i will just bottom water it kasi i really wanted to hydrate yung kanyang leaves but i won't really leave it overnight siguro two hours or three hours would be enough to water itong ating Aeonium. In terms of propagating itong succulent na ito, it's very simple then. Kasi as you can see, it literally produces tiny rosettes. But if you are wondering kung paano nga ba siya propagate then it's very simple. We just need to take some cuttings and usually I will be removing some of the bottom leaves. So it would now stimulate yung root growth. Jaan sa area na yan. Yan. So, ganyan lang siya. Kadali. And immediately after ito, pwede na natin itong itanim separately sa ating potting mix. So, I'll take another cutting here again. So, I'll be taking just two cuttings for today kasi as much as possible, I really don't want to kumbaga cut more out of this Aeonium Sun Cup kasi maganda siyang tignan as is talaga pag kumpulan siyang ganyan. And for our potting mix, I'm using yung ating Alnos Compose and it's very important na maglagay tayo ng pumice stones to make it even more draining kasi yung ating Aeonium Sun Cup is very sensitive to overwatering. Pero for propagations like this, I usually use yung parang pure Alnos compost lang and medyo moist yung preferred ko para mas mabilis nga siyang mag root. Ayan. So, after nga natin siyang itanim dyan, we will be leaving this in a bright and shaded area. So, hindi muna natin sila ilalagay under full sunlight or else the chances of them dying is very high. So, 
I think that's all for our care guide ng ating Aeonium Sun Cup. And I do add some fungicides and insecticides into the soil from time to time as needed as part of our maintenance. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, a Desert Succulent PH.